students everywhere rely on their eyes to read, to write, and to experience the classroom. Eyes make stories come alive, projects interesting, and a classroom vibrant. In school, students rely heavily on their vision as part of the learning process. But vision problems affect over 13.5 million students in the U.S. alone, including a full quarter of all adolescents. While many of these students have had their problem diagnosed and can now see well with corrective lenses, some of them still suffer from vision problems that go undetected. Undetected vision problems can cause frustration and hamper students' ability to do or enjoy schoolwork, so schools must do their best to help students keep track of their eye health. Fortunately, teachers can do a lot to help children who may be struggling with a vision problem. Within the classroom, teachers should be on the lookout for any of the following, especially in younger children. Eyes turning inward or outward, squinting, headaches, worsening academic performance, blurred or double vision, losing place while reading, avoiding close work, holding reading material closer than normal, tending to rub eyes, eyes tiring easily, tilting or turning the head to use one eye only, using finger to maintain place while reading, or consistently performing below potential. If a child is exhibiting some of these symptoms, he or she may have an undiagnosed vision problem. Helping that child get a vision screening may greatly improve his or her academic achievement and prevent a worsening of that vision problem later on. Vision screenings are usually conducted in the school nurse's office using a simple Snellen test. However, vision screenings are not a substitute for a comprehensive eye exam performed by an ophthalmologist or optometrist. If a student exhibits reduced visual acuity in a vision screening, the nurse can then suggest that the student see an eye doctor and have the problem diagnosed. As we will see, most vision problems can be detected by a vision screening and then corrected with an eye doctor's help later on. Others, however, are far more difficult to detect without specialized medical training. Let's go through some of the more common eye problems that students may be struggling with. Myopia, also known as nearsightedness, is the most common vision problem among students. Close objects are seen clearly while faraway objects are blurred. This can make note-taking and chalkboard reading difficult or impossible. Myopia can be detected by a simple vision screening in a school nurse's office. Hyperopia, or farsightedness, is common although not as prevalent among students as myopia. For students with hyperopia, faraway objects are clear, but close-up objects are blurry. This can make all forms of close work difficult or impossible. Hyperopia can be detected by a simple vision screening in the school nurse's office. Astigmatism is less common than near or far-sightedness, but still affects more than 3% of students. Astigmatism is the blurring of images caused by an irregularly shaped cornea. Astigmatism can be detected by a simple vision screening. Colorblindness is the inability to tell certain colors apart, caused by defects in some or all types of cones in the eye. Most people who are colorblind cannot tell the difference between red and green, although in some cases people have difficulty with differentiating between blue or yellow, or even any colors at all. This can make understanding some visual materials in the classroom difficult for students. Colorblindness is easily detected through a simple vision screening in the school nurse's office. Conjunctivitis, or pink eye, is a very common eye condition among school children. Unlike the other conditions we are discussing in this video, it is not a defect, but rather an infection of the conjunctiva, the lining on the eyelid and part of the eyeball. Redness, itchiness, discharge, and general discomfort are all symptoms of pink eye. Because it is a contagious condition, it is important to recognize it right away and avoid close contact with others while experiencing the symptoms. Strabismus is a vision condition in which the eyes are misaligned and unable to focus on one point at the same time. Physically, the eyes look in different directions, and this can cause double vision, lack of depth perception, or vision loss in one eye. Strabismus can sometimes be related to amblyopia, or lazy eye, which is one of the most serious common vision problems that a child might experience. It is not an eye disorder, but rather a condition in which the brain does not fully acknowledge the images sent to it by the amblyopic eye. This leads to a weakening of that eye over time. Early detection is the most important part of preserving vision function when it comes to amblyopia, because the earlier a person begins treatment, the more functionality can be recovered. 
A comprehensive eye exam by an eye doctor is crucial because if amblyopia is not accompanied by strabismus, it is often not detected by vision screenings offered in schools. If your school does not require vision screenings, you should do your best to help your school change its policy. Get your peers, your students, and their parents involved. The American Optometric Association recommends that children have eye exams every one or two years while enrolled in primary or secondary school because most vision problems develop as a child grows up. Thank you for watching Unite for Sight's Eye Health for Teachers informational video. For more information about vision problems in schools, including information on programs that can help with the cost of eye exams or corrective lenses, please visit www.uniteforsight.org slash eyehealthteachers. You may also direct your students to www.uniteforsight.org slash eyehealthstudents for resources and information about their own eye health.